This week on The Gun Room, we're checking out some hunting and self-defense rounds from a relatively unknown player in the US market. However, they are a big fish in Europe. Normal ammunition is comparatively unknown in the US, however, that's going to change in the next few years as they move aggressively into the US market. And that's a good thing for everybody, especially consumers of ammunition like you and me. More choices, always more better. Let's take a look at a couple of rounds that they're going to bring in as some of their flagship ammunition. The first off being their tip strike medium game round. Now this in 308 is 165 grain or thereabouts bullets moving at around about 2600 feet per second. In terms of construction, think of it along the lines of say a Hornady SST in that it has a polymer tip and it's a non bow tail bullet which inside 300 yards for normal hunting ranges, not a big deal. And the jacket up front is pretty thin, so you're going to get explosive expansion, and then it thickens towards the base, so it should hold together. The other round we're going to look at is the Oryx, which is, to all intents and purposes, a basic bitch soft point. But it's a bonded bullet, so again, in US terms, think of it along the lines of, say, a spear gold dot. Should be a really good self-defense round in a three-way platform, and we're going to test it out of a 16-inch barrel gun just to prove that point. Now, a word on ballistics testing. A lot of dudes set up a ballistics block at around about 10 feet and then shoot it out of a, say, a 24-inch barrel gun. We're not going to do that. We're going to have real-world testing. The block is at 100 yards. We're shooting it out of a 16-inch pipe, so we're making it as hard as possible. You should get significant real-world results out of this test. All right, let's load them up, send them down range, and see how they perform in gel. Okay, normal Oryx at 100 yards out of a 16 inch AR-10 platform gun. Now, as you can see, the block left the table and when it did so, it shed a bunch of weight up here. I'm gonna roll the block over for you in a minute just so you can see that whole wound track because as you can see also, we picked up a lot of dirt off the deck. Overall penetration then looks like 31 inches all the way through that block. And it looks like we've got about well, certainly a big chunk there, but it did shed the nose. Now here's your wound track. If I can roll this over for you. You got about a two inch neck here before the bullet fully expanded. And then you've got some fragmentation as it shed some mass, uh, but continued on pretty straight line penetration all the way through, almost up through the, the second block. That's impressive performance. Next up is the tip strike. We'll see if it does any better than this, although this is pretty good. Okay, Norma, 170 grain tip strike. <laughs> the story of the Norma tip strike is one of massive fragmentation. You can see about a one inch long neck before uh, the tip initiates expansion. The tip loses it around about the two and a quarter inch mark. And after that, there is a massive amount of frag, right about the five inch, four, five, six, seven inch mark there. A massive, massive amount of fragmentation. The bullet continues on all the way through into the second block at the 16 inch mark. And then it fetches up the, the largest piece I can see right now is a tiny piece of lead core right at 23 inches. So if you're looking for a self-defense round, the tip strike is right up there. It is going to put somebody down very, very rapidly. Or if you're looking at big game, especially deer sized animals, I would imagine these will be a one shot stop. I'm going to dig out the, the rest of the bullet now and just show you just how little is left of it. But yeah, in the first part of the block, wow. Okay, I'm gonna dig both of these bullets out now. We'll weigh them and I'll give you the retained weight below. <laughs> 